All right, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead. Friends, how y'all doing today? Well, I just want to make this quick video. It's a nice day out here, and uh, I've been meaning to do this. I just want to show you my log splitter I bought about five years ago. Uh, this is a 22-ton uh, Dirty Hands uh, log splitter. I got it at Lowe's. Uh, I don't think they care it anymore, but uh, this particular design is made by a lot of, you know, a lot of different manufacturers put their sticker on it, you know, so it's made the same style as a lot of them they still making them. But I just want to show y'all uh, this is the log splitter. And um, also I just want to show y'all one downside of the log splitter since I've had it. I split probably about 20 cords of wood on it so far. And uh, that's full cord, so I put a lot of use on it. And uh, I just had one problem with it. And besides that, it's been a great log splitter and I can recommend it. And uh, but let me uh, show you what kind of flaw uh, they had from the original uh, manufacturer. Uh, this is the old one right here. This is the beam that came off of the. Um, yeah, the shadow there. This is the beam that actually came off of the log splitter, and they sent me a new one because you can see right there along the railing right there, it came unwelded all the way down it. And um, like I say, this is probably after about I don't know. 10, 12, 15 cords of uh, wood splitting on it. And uh, that was good. They just sent me another one that didn't have no problem at all. Good warranty on it. And that they just told me to keep this old uh, beam right here. But I, I just want to show y'all uh, that right there. And on this side here, uh, looks like it, it was still good on that side. It's just this one side here. And it split all the way down through it. And it could just been a... Uh, where it just didn't get a good hot weld you know from the manufacturer but uh, i want to show you that because you know if you got this design you might want to uh you know take a look at yours and uh, i'm gonna show you what i did to fix that problem y'all let me show you right here you see this metal piece right here that's just a angle iron and i think it's about a quarter to three sixteenths inch thick and i didn't have a welder at the time so i had to take that to a welder and uh he welded it for me really good and uh they sent me a new one and uh as soon as i got it in i took it over to the welder and i had to add this on both sides all the way down to the top of it and uh welded it so that'll never come loose again so i just want to show y'all that in case you know y'all want to make, make no modification to y'all's um because like i said you did you split a lot of wood there's a chance this same design the wells could uh, break loose on you there so i just want to show y'all that and um, i'll go ahead and uh, you know split a couple logs up here show you how it does uh, i split everything from you know small logs all the way up to 30 inch logs with this i've never had no problem it works you know you can stand it up and down so uh, it, it is a good design and uh, that's that's the only problem i ever had just that well breaking loose but Anyway, I won't have to worry about that anymore. But uh, I'll go ahead and uh, split a couple logs and show you how it does.
All right, y'all. Well, you can see how it done. This thing ain't been cranked up probably about a month and a half. And you see it didn't take, I think, like one pull and just fired right up. That thing's been that good cranking ever since I had it. No problem whatsoever. And uh, it's just a good, uh, solid uh, wood splitter. It's got a, uh, let me just show you right here. The motor on it. It's a, it's a Kohler 6.5 3000 series uh, engine on it and uh, I keep it up under my porch back here and uh, like I say I've, I've had no trouble with it it starts up good so uh, you know if y'all uh, if y'all want a good log splitter this design like I, say, I don't know if they make the dirty hands model anymore but I know like champion and a lot of these different ones out there uh, that look like to me to be the same one uh, so uh, just want to do a review on this uh, log splitter right here and I can tell you for sure that it is a good one and I've put it through its paces and uh, so I just want to bring y'all along today show you that video of this uh, log splitter well I appreciate y'all coming along watching y'all and uh, as always for my family years y'all have a blessed day and if you got any comments leave them down below i enjoy reading the comments and as always for my family to yours y'all have a blessed day friends we'll see y'all later bye bye